With the DayZ 1.12 update finally released on all platforms, I thought it would be a good idea to make a short overview of it in case you missed it. While I didn't get to play the experimental update as much as I wanted, I know enough from reading comments online and looking at the patch notes to summarize most of the update. If you liked the video, please be sure to comment, like, subscribe, share, and hit the sub bell for future video and stream notifications. First, let me talk about the biggest change in the 1.12 update. Stealth. Yes, stealth has always been possible, but now there are proper updates to AI and stealth mechanics that make stealth more reliable. By using a bladed weapon, you can sneak up to a zombie from behind and attack it without alerting other nearby zombies. When I say bladed weapon, I mean any melee weapon that is listed as bladed in the daisy wiki. Okay, maybe not all of them since the pickaxe is listed as bladed, for whatever reason. If you want a full explanation of how stealth works in 1.12, be sure to watch this video for more information. Outside of the video, there were three things I forgot to mention or learned after making it. One, zombies are attracted to light. Two, rifles with bayonets attached can be used for stealth attacks. And three, zombies don't attack unconscious players. Speaking of unconscious players, the second biggest change in 1.12 was a damage overhaul that integrates the player unconscious state, adds shock damage, and knockback. To summarize from what I learned on the DAISY forums, most high power weapons will now kill players and zombies with one bullet up to a certain range. Bullets in general are stronger and are much more lethal. If the bullet doesn't kill you, the shock damage will cause you to go unconscious for a short time. By wearing armor such as a plate carrier and ballistic helmet, you can reduce damage and shock damage. Knockback is now applied any time the player takes damage. You will basically flinch lately. This is very common when fighting zombies, so try to stay stealthy when surrounded by them. Stealth will be key to survival against zombies as they are more deadly than before. To end things off for this video, there are a lot of smaller changes, additions, or fixes. The biggest addition is probably the new Pioneer Rifle, which is a 5.56 bolt action rifle. Many people have mentioned it is similar to a scout rifle you will find in mod packs. It is very deadly and accurate from what I can tell, and can be found in the police loot pool. In the food department there are a few smaller food items added to the game. Some of the older food items had rebalanced the values. You can now use greenhouses along with a new gardening hoe. There are several new bladed melee weapons such as a cookery knife and a sickle, which are perfect for stealth. Vehicle batteries are now rechargeable and are consumed by headlights. There are too many changes, fixes, and additions to list, so I'll link the change log in the description. Overall, this update looks pretty solid and adds a lot of new stuff to play with, but it seems there was a lot of controversy online with how difficult zombie combat was on console and how some bullets are incredibly overpowered over others. There are a ton of fixes in the change log, so hopefully those concerns have been addressed. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Daisy has always been at the core of this channel, and the love I got on the last three videos was amazing and very much appreciated. So thank you for that. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, and hit the sub bell for future video and stream notifications.